Hey guys, Will here. It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day today, so I thought a perfect opportunity to get stuck into starting to prepare this car for wrapping. So you can see if we have a look down here, it's looking pretty messy at the moment. Uh, it's all over the place, but what we're doing is we're filling in some little gaps and holes on the front bar here to give us a nice smooth surface that we can wrap over. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in this episode. You can see up here on the bonnet as well, we're working at fixing a little dent there. There's a few little dents and scrapes around the car. So we'll be fixing all that up, cleaning up all under here as well, preparing it for wrap. Obviously we need to have a nice, clean, smooth surface. So yeah, hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll be ready to start wrapping. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just try to clean this up as much as I can just with water, warm water, hot water. So get all this crap off it. It had a, um, well, it's going to have a Mazda Speed front lip on it as well, which I've shown you quickly in other videos. So we've got all this crap sort of adhesive leftover double-sided tape stuff that we need to clean off as well. So I'm just using a bit of abrasive polish to get in those cracks and kind of try and flatten this out as much as I can. Now, when I wrap it, I'm probably not gonna go down past about here anyway, because this is where the um, this is where the front lip, the Mazda Speed lip's gonna sit. So this is gonna be really difficult to wrap in here, and because it's not gonna be visible anyway, it doesn't matter. So I'll probably cut the wrap off about here, and then wrap the front bar, or wrap the front lip separately. So we don't need to worry too much about this area down here, but we do need to get all this adhesive off so just keep working at that. And I might actually get some wax and grease remover onto that to see if it does a better job. Wax and grease remover. Now, there's actually a bit of a ridge in the bumper there from when the from where the lip's been sitting. So I think I will actually take some coarser sandpaper to that and try to rub it back a little bit and just flatten it out. So I don't really want to have any hard lines there that are going to cause the wrap to ripple. Okay, so that's a nice flat surface there now, which is great. So now we just need to work on this area over here. So I've got a nice fresh piece of 1200 grit now. I'm just gonna run that over the whole area. Just to smooth it all out. So it looks pretty dull, but that is a really nice, smooth, clean surface now, which should work fine for wrapping. Now up on the bonnet, you can see I've started to fill a dent that was here. So I'll show you what that dent looked like, but there's still a little bit of a ripple noticeable in the surface there. If I run my hand over it, I can just feel a bit of a divot. So I'm gonna give it another layer of some spray filler. So what this is, is basically a spray can of filler that you layer up and then you sand the surface flat again at the end and that gives you a nice flat finish. So it's really good for little dents and scrapes like this that we need to fill to give ourselves a nice even surface. We're also gonna need to fill in these little dents that you can see here. I'll just go closer with the camera for you. So you can see there's these little chips here that look like they're from a previous stone guard or something like that. The irony is that the stone guard protection has actually caused more damage than probably the stones would have themselves, but We'll get those sanded flat as well. Get the surface all nice and prepped for wrapping. So these spots are all sanded back and nice and flat now. So what I'm gonna do next, and excuse the shadows running across the camera there, I've got a palm tree above me. So what I'm gonna do next is just prime these areas with a very light coat of primer, just so I can sand it back to a completely flat surface, because there's a little bit of a divot there now 
there's no rough edges, but there's a little bit of a divot in the paint and I want that to be as smooth as possible. So we'll give it a quick spray with primer, then we can wait for it to dry and sand it back again. We'll also give this area here another quick coat as well, just to get rid of the remaining divot. So the first thing we need to do is just run over it with some wax and grease remover. That should be plenty. That should be plenty for that too. Now we just wait for it all dry. All right, so we'll leave that to dry before we sand it back and we'll get to work on removing all of this adhesive crap that's left behind inside the front bumper and cleaning up this side like we did on the other side. All right, so this side is now all good too. So that's pretty much the front bar done. Might just do a little bit more work on this area if we need to, but I'll establish that a little bit later on. I'm not entirely happy with this spot just yet, but the two sides are all prepped and ready to go. So now we just need to sand back this area. Now that's nice and dry to get those stone chips nice and flat. We'll probably leave this for a couple more hours to really harden before we sand that back. And that will be that, we'll be ready to wrap the bonnet and front bar. All right, so it looks pretty horrible, but the surfaces now are completely smooth to touch, which is exactly what we were trying to achieve. And that will be perfectly fine for wrapping now. And that is beautiful and smooth now as well. There's no bump there where the dent was, so that's fixed. What we can also do is just give it a light buff to get rid of any overspray. I was a little bit lazy and didn't mask around it like I probably should have, but we'll polish all that off and that'll be fine. So. That is how I've prepped my car, or this, this section of the car anyway, for wrapping. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you do it differently. Obviously, I'm not a professional. This is completely done, just me sort of figuring stuff out as I go. So comment below, tell me I'm an idiot if I'm doing things wrong, or tell me it's awesome if I'm doing things right. But thank you very much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget our giveaway as well, which I posted about a couple of days ago. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.